You know, sometimes the best inventions are actually discovered completely by accident. Yeah, that's how a local scientist came across a remedy for color blindness. ABC 7 News reporter Jonathan Bloom has the story. A pair of classic aviator sunglasses will run you about 10 bucks at a drugstore. So why would you pay 600 for these? Well, for starters, if you're colorblind. There you go. Andy Schmieder is taking a test to determine how quickly he can tell colors apart. It's the test used in the clinical trials for a new kind of glasses called Enchroma that help you see colors better. Don McPherson discovered it by accident when his friend borrowed a pair of his laser safety goggles to use as sunglasses while playing ultimate frisbee. And he said, these are great. I can see the cones. And I didn't know what he was talking about, but it turned out he was severely colorblind. And he could see the orange cones on the green grass for the first time in his life. Color blindness is a genetic defect in the retina's color sensing pigments. We have one that's sensitive to green light and one that's sensitive to red light. And you can immediately notice that the green and red sensitive photopigments overlap each other a lot. To someone with a color deficiency, the red and green overlap so much they both look basically brown. Unless you can block a narrow part of the spectrum between red and green. And that's what Enchroma does, meaning this orange flower will finally stand out from the green leaves behind it. But for someone who's color deficient, it goes way beyond just a new appreciation for plant life. The man-made world is built out of colors, and being able to tell them apart can be a matter of safety. From traffic lights to road signs, if you can't see color, McPherson says you're more likely to hesitate when you have to make a split-second decision. In the clinical trials, he says colorblind patients made those snap judgments 30% faster with the glasses on. But what really tickles him is something else. They're pointing at a lavender flower. And they've never seen lavender before in their life. You know, that's the goosebump moment for me. In Berkeley, Jonathan Bloom, ABC 7 News.